This gameplay offers a good example of how to play the Kavaros as a high-powered gunboat. Sit back and enjoy the action. We hope you enjoy it. And if you like, please subscribe. On to the battle. So this is just a general how I do a Kavaros the gunboat. And we're on mountain range. We're facing A. And one of the first things I do is see what else we got on the other side. If my team member list will come up. And quite a few destroyers, so this is good. I don't have to push the cap. I can do my gunboat routine. I'm facing A. And yeah, they got a black. It's definitely something we want to get out of the way. Who is, oh dear. Okay. Well, the team looks like they're actually playing the mix. I'm going to try to stay out of detection range at the moment and support that Fletcher. And cover that squishy Neptune. Reversing course, I'm going to run into B, and I run the risk of getting broadsided from there if I'm not careful. And I'm keeping my guns in front, pointing towards the target till the rears can swing around. Obviously, there's one up there, and there he is. So. me, let's throw some laser guns at it. Two destroyers, a gearing and a shimmy in there, which means fish are probably on the way. I'm detected for a moment. And there is a hipper. I can't see. Come the fish, which were also expected. There is that. Yeah. Got him on fire, but he also can throw shells at me at fairly close range, so. Hopefully they'll run out, to be honest, but if I turned the other way, two things. I would have been going broadside, and the odds were good. I really wouldn't get out of all of them. We are down. They got air up and my guns off, because I'd rather not be spotted at the moment. They've got the hip and those two tin cans, at least around here, plus a Bismarck at 14. I'm using the mini-map to try to stay loose if I can. I have some support down here, so we're not out of... Oh, I'm spotted. Here come shells. And I don't like being that close. The Hipper isn't the greatest boat in the world. There is he spotting me, and likely that at least one... Oh, there's even better. Up on those. Try to pull short on that one. 
if I can, it's going to be close, and it does open me up. Lots of fish around here. By the same token, I do too. And he's fairly close. This is going to be a real bad neighborhood. I don't see. This is dangerous. But I also have a P that can penetrate him if I can get in there and citadel his ass. I might just get lucky. because I've got a Yamato and I need to get even though I really didn't want to use a heal right then not being able to maneuver well this close to a Yamato when I'm going to be in range of his guns is a bad choice I'm going to try to kite away from him don't want to be where his secondaries can open up on me We're only down a couple of ships, but or a ship, but we don't have any caps. We've got to do some butt caps if we are going to have a chance. Right now, we're trying to get in, put fire on this guy, and. Keep them where they don't want to really come in here. Close bid. Those fish over there that I just saw out of the corner of my eye tell me that there are destroyers still acting around here. Shimmy, man. I'm gonna hit my boost. So even though he's close, that Yamato is probably less worried about me than just dying right now. I see that black over there. Ship I really don't like. Oh good, we got another fire on the Yamato. I keep burning him down. Gotta get out of the range of his secondaries. He's dead. His secondaries aren't gonna count anymore. And now that Martell is in range.
Not if I can help it. We'll drive him off and get this cap, and caps are important. Okay, I'm still detected. I'm not sure by who. Oh shit! Those probably are from a dead Martell, but maybe not, because they got two tin cans left. There is a cap. 93.5 in damage, that's a good start. I'm going to not use my heal, I don't really need it, and I might need it. Oh man, this game is way too fucking close. What have they got left? Gearing, shimmy, and hipper. And there's the shimmy. He's dead. Hearing is over there by his smoke. Looking on the mini map, there he is. Kill him. Yep. Now we just need the fucking hipper. That's it. And we won. <laughs> Not bad. 105,000 damage. Only got one kill, I think. But not for lack of trying. Came close to at least two others. And that's how you do the Cobb as a gunboat. Let's get our final results. And we have... Oh, we did 234 gun hits. Of those, over half were penetrations. 100 were nons, 7 overs. We got one kill. We did two sits. We did a solo cap. Team score. We came in second. So it nudges us up towards a badge for Russian boats. 1921 raw XP. It was a first win of the day, so that's going to come in nice detailed report. Well, we got in close to getting a wither. We needed another 
less than 13,000 to do it. We just didn't get enough fires. We got half of the capture points. That came close to costing us the game. The lack of captures. And 15,000 on the gearing. 52,000 on a Yamato. 20,000 on the Minotaur. Hipper 11. And we fired 48 AP rounds. And we almost did 50% hit rate on those. Only about a third of a percent hit rate on the HE. However, I use that to spam and intimidate as much as anything else. So I just keep the button pretty much pushed down. And for credits, we did a net of 336, 352.7 for take home pay. 72, almost 73,000 Commander XP and XP. Part of that is because, of course, we have the premium camo. We get a clan bonus. Didn't have any real flags out. But anyway, as I said, overall, not a bad game. I'll go ahead and attach the how this ship is built. I, like I said, I have her gunboat. She really isn't designed for spells. She wants speed and survivability. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative, and we'll see you soon. He did a net of 336, 7 for take-home pay. 72, almost 73,000 Commander XP and XP. Part of that is because, of course, we have the premium camo. We get a clan bonus. Didn't have any real flags out. But anyway, as I said, overall, not a bad game. I'll go ahead and attach the how this ship is built. I, like I said, I have as her gunboat. She really isn't designed for spells. She wants speed and survivability. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative, and we'll see you soon. So here's the Tier 10 Khabarovsk Russian Destroyer. It's called a destroyer, but in many ways it's more a very fast cruiser. And that's how I have my ship configured and her captain skills arranged. So I'm not focused on stealth. I'm not focused on torpedoes. Before the nerf, she had 10-click torpedoes, and I did take some effort to make maximum use of those. Now those torpedoes are only six clicks, and so they're mostly defensive, although every once in a while I'll kick them out to kill something. So here are my upgrades. I have main armaments modification one, and this is basically designed to improve my survivability for the guns because without that, this boat's not worth having in battle. Engine boost modification one. This is a special upgrade. If you don't have that, um, I'd suggest damage control. But if you have access to this modification, it is really good. It increases the amount of time that the engine boost is on. This ship is already very fast. Uh, there's very little it can even keep up in her vicinity. The Henry's an example of one that can sort of chase you down with a flag. With this, she's not going to be able to do it. Uh, aiming systems mod one. The guns are uh, very good already, but this just adds to them, drops down the dispersion. Um, steering, this one, again, with the nerf, she lost some of her steerability, and so this makes up for that. So definitely steering gears modification two is pretty much a must have, and as well as that, steering gears modification uh, three. The two of these make her responsive to the helm and she needs to be able to duck and dodge to get out of things both uh, away from enemy gunfire and the risk of torps and as again as a gunboat I've gone ahead and put main battery modification 3 in here um, I really don't worry about AA as much as I worry about being able to show shells down range and keep people away from me captain skills again she is rigged for not stealth, but for both survivability and the ability to deal damage and move fast. So priority target. This lets me know how many people are looking at me. So if I've got one person out there, well, okay. If I've got five out there, I know it's going to get busy. And this ship tends to get focused. Preventive maintenance to keep basic stuff running. 
adrenaline rush to increase the rate of fire, but this is really your number two first choice for two-pointers is last stand. Uh, follow that with superintendent to get all the speed boosts and health you can get. Uh, I've equipped it with demolition expert to increase the ability to set fires and this thing does pretty good at getting witherers and survivability expert again to keep her in battle and sometimes I'll come out of a battle with only a few hundred HP survive it and that can make a difference in a win as uh, we've seen in the battle that uh, preceded this tape. Advanced firing training uh, increase the uh, main gat battery guns again you want to reach out there and touch them as early as you can so this is a really good ship um, as I've got her configured she has 2600 126,000 hit points uh, she's not heavily armored but she's hard to hit torpedoes are nothing to write home about unless you're up close and can do some damage with them AA Again, this isn't something that's going to be out there knocking down a whole bunch of planes for your team. It's just not that kind of ship. However, this is without the speed flag, uh, I believe, um, 45 knots, turning circle of 600 and, uh, 760 meters, rudder shift time 5.3 with the modifications I put in there. And that has the concealment down at 9.7. Um, for detectability by sea and 4.9 by air. Um, and if you fire your main guns in smoke, 4.1 clicks. Again, this boat is just wonderful at dealing damage and dancing around, but she has to be configured to be able to do it. Um, she is a really good ship. She's a lot of fun. She's a pleasure to play. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this.